guys, welcome back to Go Your Own Ray. My name is Maddie, and today I'm out to try and catch some mackerel. Apparently, the mackerel fishing at the moment is great. All the fishing boats, I don't know if you can see them. I think that's actually the lifeguard, but I can see a few fishing rods on the back. Maybe it's break time. But a couple other fishing boats just went out. I unfortunately only have a paddle, so I will not be venturing too far. Although it is quite calm, so hopefully, I can kind of drift in one area for quite some time. You might notice during the video, apart from my unbelievably gorgeous welly bits, I have lined the inside of the kayak with a bin liner and a towel. That's just to try and keep things neat and tidy. And if I do land any fish, I can get them into the boat without any problems, hopefully. Um, macro can be quite dirty. Uh, they shed a lot of scales and yeah, I just prefer that to be on a, a bin liner that I can dispose of later than my actual boat. Hopefully it stays dry. All I'm basically going to be doing is I've got my macro feathers with me and I literally just plop them over the side, just raise and lower and hopefully I can show you the first macro of the season. So here we go. No luck yet. I'm gonna move a little deeper just because the tide is going out and I'm wondering are the mackerel going out with it? Although I do believe low tide is the time to catch them. Might go out beside one of these boats. They seem to know what they're doing. <laughs> Imagine just pulling up beside a big fishing boat in a wee kayak, joining in. Thank you. I wish, I wish I had a motor. I don't mind rowing, but it can get a little tedious, especially when you want to just fish. I just want to catch some fish. Make sure these are not tangled up. Very annoying little things. But absolute dynamite for mackerel. I actually got these feathers, I think it's a three pack, in De Casalon, my favorite shop at the moment, for I think like five pounds maybe. Three traces with five hooks. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. If I find the link on the website, I'll, I'll put it in the description below. Traces aren't that expensive anyway, they're about two or three quid a pack. So it was nice to buy a multi-pack. I've checked Amazon and things and I can't seem to find any kind of bulk. I'm sure eBay maybe, but. So you might see whenever I finish up, there might be a few fishermen along here where this red like watchtower is. And then they all kind of line this coast here as well on the rocks with their beach casting equipment. I unfortunately, I'm not good at beach casting. I always, lose my equipment. I always snag myself in something or other, but this is why I'm out in the kayak. Plus it's nice to be out in this kind of distance without too much effort. Oh mackerel, where are you? To be honest, I would take anything right now. A scuba diver, plastic bag, anything but seaweed. And a great white shark. Yeah, check my drag. It feels Oh, too much drag. Finally, I'm into something. What is it? Please be a mackerel and not a shopping bag. Knowing this pier though, it's probably a, a shopping trolley or something. Oh. oh, it's a few. Nice. Oh, it's four. Oh, damn. Nice. Oh, oh, one came off. He got away. 
Oh yeah. First mackerel of the season. Oh baby. And they've tangled my trace up. Thank you very much. And there we have it. The first mackerel of the season. Put them back. See ya. Get these other two. Oh, my traces. What a sweet fish. Kind of reminds me of like that scene in Deep Blue Sea when he gets real close to the shark whenever they take its DNA and it bites its arm off. Always reminds me of that. Such a cool fish. And there he goes. See ya. Wow, they are fast. This one unfortunately didn't make it. It was uh, badly hooked. I do apologize for those that don't like to see this kind of thing. Trust me, I am not too fond of it myself. Oh, they did a number on my trace though. Damn, maybe this is why these are three for a fiver. Oh, I'm not tackling that today. So this is all I'm literally doing. I'm trying not to waste too much battery and memory, so I, I keep like switching on and off my, my GoPro, so I might lose the initial kind of first bite. Oh, I think I'm on again, just as I'm talking. Oh yes. So what I do is sometimes once you get a bite, because you've got five feathers on, give yourself another maybe second because it could be a whole shoal and you might get a whole rack of mackerel. Let's see how many I've got here. It's like a lucky bag. Hopefully it's mackerel, it feels like mackerel. Yep, another three. Oh, maybe not. Oh yeah, it is three. Try and keep my trace straight. Oh, one came off. Keep the hooks away from the boat. Keep the hooks away from the boat. Oh, nice. Okay, so going deep was a good shot. Try and get these guys back quickly. These are only wee small ones. We see how fast they go. Phew! <laughs> They're so fast. Such a sweet fish, man. I say that about most fish. And again. Meow. <laughs> so there was three on that. I landed two, so that's five. And my trace didn't get messed up like the last one. So that's good. <gasps> that was cool to get that on camera. <laughs> Just as I was saying, I might not get any actual first catch on camera because I don't want to waste too much battery and memory. GoPro, if you're watching this, send me like a million batteries, please, for free. Thank you. As I say, there is one in this bag. I've got like a little keep net bag. Unfortunately, he was file hooked, but don't worry, he will not go to waste. I am on a strict, well, not really a strict diet. I'm on a bit of a diet at the moment. <laughs> bit of a difference between a strict diet and a bit of a diet. I have been uh, incredibly gracious to myself during lockdown and kind of eating my weight in whatever I can. So he is more than welcome to the dinner plate. And I try not to waste too much of the fish for the head and tail. I will use it again for bait or I'll just throw it back to the ocean. I'm gonna go a little further out cause I've drifted back. And I think the best decision today was to go a little deeper. I'm not using any kind of fish finders or anything, even though they make life 10 times easier. I just don't have one. So I'm literally just going, to be honest, I just stop whenever I'm bored rowing, which doesn't take very long. And if you've seen my recent kayak video, you'll know that I absolutely love my inflatable kayak. Obviously when it gets a wee bit rough or windy, it can be a wee bit hard to uh, manage both fishing and kayak. But on days like this, just a dream. It's just a dream. Guess we'll go here. The annoying thing with these kayak rods, they're obviously great for kayaks because they're so small, but whenever you're trying to fish with, see how high I have to raise the rod to kind of lift because this trace is so long. Try and get off the bottom and then back to the usual. Up and down, up and down. 
Oh yeah. Oh, I'm on the phone to my friend. I'll call you back. Nice. Try and get this up before the trace ruins. Oh, it's another three or four. No, my trace. Oops. Oh. Nice. That is what we're talking about. But these traces, man, are a nightmare. See ya. Oh, damn it. These traces, man, they're not very good. They're obviously doing the job, but I mean, why are they tangling up so much? Wasting valuable time. I'm gonna change to this lure or this rig. It's kind of like a little baby fish, uh, just because they seem to be a higher quality. The other ones are fine, don't get me wrong. Like, I mean, they're catching me mackerel and that's what you want, but they just seem to tangle quite a bit. I don't know whether that's just the way traces go. We'll see with mackerel. Mackerel obviously fight quite a bit and they're very like fluttery, you know, kick about quite a bit. So that's probably what's tangling me up. So I just want to use less. This only has three and I'm only catching three at a time. So hopefully I haven't shortened the odds of catching fish now by doing this but we'll see obviously the other feathers that i've been using are are fine like i mean they've caught me nine mackerel landed what eight so in the space of 45 minutes maybe but i just don't like the way they they get tangled up it's not good anyone that knows me will tell you i do not have the patience for untangling things like that when i'm wanting to fish where are my weights do you see the way they they flutter in the water I've drifted back in quite a bit, so I'll probably go back out a bit deeper in a bit. Oh. Yep. So I minimized the hooks and in return I minimized the quantity of fish. Whoa, oh, all right, buddy, calm down. Nice. Obviously, I'm not too far from the shore. I know I can fish from the shore. I just prefer to come out my little kayak. To me, it's not that much bother taking this thing out. Plus, I'm not really losing any of my weights, hooks, anything like that. And it takes me back to being a kid. When my dad used to take us out on the fishing boat here, we literally used to just do this off the side of the boat. So it's nice to be able to do this on my own. Oh, I'm in again. Can I remember how many this is? Another one. Get the hooks in the boat. Man, they kick like mad. That's why all my traces, although this trace is definitely a lot better. I'll give it another few minutes here. I'm pretty, pretty close to the shore and I'll, I'll paddle back out. As I was about to set off, there was a guy on the shore with his dog and his kid, and he said to me, oh, I don't think the mackerel are in just yet. And I thought, flip, that's probably why I'm not catching them. Well, they are in, Mr. Dog Walker guy. I guess I didn't need to go sit beside one of those big boats. Oh, someone's flying their drone. Scared the absolute crap out of me. Videoing me as well. It whizzed over my head. I thought it was like a swarm of bees. But yes, I'm glad you can use me in your filming, my friend. That was... That scared me. All I heard was... You'll hear it here now. Hopefully they can give me this footage for the video. 
wonder if I got my ass out how it would go down <laughs> finally I was just about to, to reel up and move on it seems to be every time I take my phone out to text a friend or something keep it away from the boat come away where's that it's behind me oh he came off oh well I think that was only one that time. I heard it splash behind me and then whenever I turned around it obviously dislodged the hook, which is fine. I'm gonna call it a day because these clouds are getting ever closer. I've left it as long as I could. Plus I'm getting brought back to the shore now quite a bit. But that was good fun. That was a good first day back to mackerel fishing. It's been years, literally years since I went fishing for mackerel. Talking like 15, 20 years. It was a good wee nostalgic moment. I can't remember how many mackerel I caught. I'll put the number in now. Yeah, remember when you're out, just be careful. We'll try and remember safety first. Tell people where you're going. Things like this will just prevent you from getting into any more bother. I'm getting really close to these sides as well. And yeah, when it comes to taking fish, uh, I try not to take too many fish. I don't really enjoy taking the fish, to be honest. But these few that I do have, there was a reason behind that. If you do enjoy your fishing, you'll know you're to take what you need, not what you want. Remember, less is more when it comes to these kind of things. I'm gonna head back now. This cloud is pretty much coming on top. So I don't wanna get caught in any rain. had to come out to my front step because the second my family seen that I brought home fresh fish they were all over it so I'm hiding. I'm also drinking a self-made elderflower cordial that my friend Claire and I made a few days ago. Please do check that out. So that's that, the first fresh mackerel of the season caught in the inflatable kayak. That was such a good day. I kind of wish I had a stayed out. If you have enjoyed this video please do consider subscribing to the channel hit that little bell button and share this with all your friends if you're out fishing be careful take care of yourselves look after yourselves and above all stay safe